hi, my peers and pretty folk. Um, I hope you all are doing well. I kind of wanted to discuss coping mechanisms because I go to them. I have them now. I have like a school. Um, I feel like a lot of us are building those mechanisms right now. If you haven't, you will. It's just like tools, you know. We're like creating our arsenal. Some have already done it. And maybe we're always adding to our arsenal um, as time goes on. Maybe we don't need as much of our arsenal as we grow through things also. Um, not sure. But I was really upset earlier because I'm just like, I just want to not have to use coping, coping mechanisms. Like, I want to feel like solid, secure, um, emotionally emotionally straight and um it can always or doesn't always feel like that sometimes you have to like peel yourself up out of your situation it's really helpful to have like people that are also willing to do that with you um so like shout out to friendship because that shit i undervalue that shit um and it's really vital especially like depending on your personal foundation and support um, sometimes friendship is all you have and it's really nice to be able to connect with people um, in a healthy way uh, share coping mechanisms mine if you haven't realized take a guess it's definitely nature. Um, that's one of my top ones. It's so much of a coping mechanism that I've like created a business within it and around it. Animals are also a coping mechanism. So that's a story for another time, honestly. Um, but there are pluses, there are perks. Uh, to recognizing your coping mechanism, so I think we all should do it. Um, but I also believe that that's not the end goal. Like, these coping mechanisms are there to help us evolve, but the, at the end of the day, we do, I think the goal is to be secure. I don't think that we're just embarking on these things just to do more stuff. Like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, I feel like the goal is to feel lighter, to feel secure, to feel um, less of whatever is plaguing us at the moment, uh, eventually make it non-existent, and that takes practice. All of these things are practices. Um, it's beneficial to be able to pinpoint your personal What's the word? Your personal trials, your personal coping mechanisms, like the things that you personally like and dislike and things like that. It's important to have that within yourself. Um, and it's important also to connect with others within that realm of, uh, I'll say, like uncertainty or, you know, like don't feel ashamed for not knowing or feeling like stuck or feeling like you gotta peel yourself up out of shit because like it happens to the best of us and honestly like it's not the easiest thing um i'm very very hyper grateful for the people that are in my life at this present time um and it's crazy because during my transitional time i didn't think these people would be in my life like by my choice so it's like being that that's giving that sense of surrender and being open to receiving love in all of the forms um that's really vital i'm finding and so i'm just grateful for that realization and hopefully you guys have had that feel free to share with me because we're all growing here um, and for those that haven't, 
kudos to you and your journey as you embark because it's happening. Um, it's nice to see. But yeah, that's all I had to say. It's nice to see. Be well. Love you all. Bye.